so we look like this that is it see you next week that's my tutorial <laughs> jokes hi guys welcome back to my channel so my name is melissa and um, if you haven't been here before welcome to my channel and um, so today we are creating my everyday makeup look well i have it created here so this is the look that i will be creating today so this is my go-to makeup look if i'm going to any events um, and products that I always go back to and always use and um, so make sure you stay tuned to see how I create this look and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and yeah stay tuned and I hope you enjoy start off my skin this is something that I haven't been using every day that's a complete lie I literally only got this but I absolutely love it it's the Miss Glam Peachy Elixir straw cream oh my god it's so fabulous so I literally just apply this with my fingers because it's just easier and I prefer the I prefer the um, temperature of my hand to push products like this into the skin and um, so I've already applied my moisturizer and my eye cream before I do this so for my foundation I'm using the NARS Longwear Radiant foundation I absolutely love this I've been using this over a year now and I always go back to it so the shade I use is Barcelona because I have some tan on today Barcelona is my go-to shade Um, I do like nice bronzy foundation so I'm gonna go in with the Revoluna R09 when I say this is my everyday makeup look that is kind of like false information this is my everyday makeup look if I have like something on so if I'm going to if I'm going to do work with clients for weddings or if I'm going for dinner or if I'm just basically leaving the house that doesn't involve being at home in my pajamas so this is my everyday makeup look in general I do not wear makeup at home um, unless I am working so if I'm shooting content this is the type of makeup that I would do and um, so for Instagram and things like that my favorite concealer that I always use is the NARS radiant creamy concealer now the only thing with this is it really drives me insane because I could go through one of these in a week I just feel like they dry up really really quick but I put up with it because I love it so much and um, so at the moment I have like three of them here that are literally all wasted but we're going to try to get something out of them and um, but I just find it really really annoying um but i do love the coverage in the concealer but it just dries up so quick and i don't know if it's the little tub i just i can never get anything out of it so i like to bring my concealer in quite far so i'm going in with my little mini beauty blender this is for my balloon i just think this is so cute um but it's really really handy for getting underneath your eyes So as you can see, it's really nice coverage, but I'm going to go in with another concealer because my NARS one is on the way out. So are the Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define. This is really, really affordable and it's really good coverage as well. But I don't like to put it directly underneath my eye. I kind of like to apply it here. And I'm actually going to go in with a lighter shade as well. This is the same one, but it's in C2, so it's just a bit lighter. I'm just going to bring this down my nose on my forehead so we look like this that is it see you next week that's my tutorial <laughs> jokes so i'm gonna get my beauty blender again and i'm just gonna tap that into the skin and um, people always ask me do the do i prefer beauty blenders or do i prefer brushes um, I like to apply my foundation with a brush, but then I also like to go over everything with a beauty blender. So I'm a concealer like obsessed. I'd rather have more concealer than more foundation. So now I'm gonna make a cream contour. I'm going in with the So Sue stick, and this is in ah, I'm sorry, this is in shade warm. So I like to apply a small bit of this just underneath my cheekbone. Okay, realistically, like that is not a small bit of stuff. It's it's actually quite a large amount of stuff. But I like to apply this underneath my cheeks and on top of my forehead. And I'm gonna go back in with the same beauty blender and I'm just gonna press that into the skin. Now I've just applied that, so it's just a nice bit of a bit of a structured glow. I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. So the bronzer I normally use is the So Sue endless matte bronzer 
really really like this um, so I'm going to go in with a large fluffy brush. This is the Beauty Edit Collection and it's 411. I really love this bronzing brush. It's just super fluffy um, and it doesn't pick up too much product. So I'm going to go in with a small bit of product. Like, I do like a good bit of bronzer. I think my life would not be complete without bronzer. I absolutely love bronzer. I just, I think if I had to pick one product, it would be bronzer. Okay, so I'm just going to go in and sculpt my face. I'm using the Inglot Mora Glam and Glue Trio. This is the medium one, so the Mora Higgins one. And I'm going to go in with their contour shade. I love this contour shade from Inglot. So I'm going to go in with a slightly more angled brush. This again is the Rebeluna R03. I love this brush because it gets right underneath and it's really soft. And it's easy to blend your product. So that is my contour done. So I'm going to go in with some blush. Blush is my favourite part of the whole routine. I just think it brings everything together. Or I usually use the NARS Liquid Orgasm or the Powder Orgasm. But for winter, I feel that um, I usually tend to stick to more like matte based products. I don't know why. But NARS Orgasm is just my favourite product of all time. I just, I'm obsessed with NARS products. If I had to work with any company, it would be NARS. So Nars, if you see this, please get in touch with me. Now I do apply a good bit of blush. Set underneath my eyes. So I'm going in with the Flomar Loose Powder. And I'm just going to bake underneath my eyes for a few minutes. For my eyeshadow on a daily basis, I go quite simple. I usually just use like one or two tones, but I'm going to today I'm going to try the Miss Glam palette. Um and I'm going to use the shades. I think I'm going to go in with the shades Game Changer and a bit of Sisters because they're the type of normal colors that I would use for my everyday glam. Um so I'm just going to go in with a large fluffy brush. Again, this is a Rebeluna brush and it's the R20. And um, I prefer kind of warm, kind of beigey kind of tones um, on my eyes. So literally for my everyday glam, like it is so, so quick and easy. Um, especially my eyeshadow. I don't normally wear much eyeshadow when, unless I'm going out. Um, but I do like a small bit as well. Just add a bit of contour to the eye. I am absolutely loving this Miss Glam palette. I've only used it now over the last week. And I'm just like, why haven't I had this palette in my life before? Um, I think it's just because I had so many palettes. And I just never bought it because... But now I'm like, I really needed this a couple of months ago. Little circular motions. I'm not even being too particular. And I kind of like to wing it out onto my temple as well. So it, like, it connects into my bronzer. Rebeluna R24 and I'm just going to get a bit of the first shade Game Changer and a bit of the second shade Glam now I don't really like to use too much shimmer on the eye for like daytime looks oh my god please excuse my eyebrows I just got a glance of myself there and um, so lashes that I'm using are actually the Be Perfect Inspire lashes um these are quite natural lashes for during the day so so I just went to hop ahead and applied my lashes my camera actually died of course it did so I actually really like these lashes. They're nice and natural, but not too dramatic for the day. So now I'm going in with the classic Charlotte Tilbury brown liner. I really love brown liners. I just think they're more subtle. Um, and they just give a nice sultry eye. I'm sorry now. But like, look at the difference Like in that. I just think brown liner just makes such a difference. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush off the brush off the powder underneath my eye. Um, now it did actually seep in a bit, but I'm just going to brush that off. To be honest, I don't normally use much powder. Um, for my brows, then I'm just going to go in with the Sosu Eye Voltage Brow Gel. I don't normally do too much with my brows. I do like them quite fluffy. Again, this is not everyone's preference. Some people do not like fluffy brows. I just feel fluffy brows 
work better for my face to be honest um i love fluffy brows i'm gonna go in with the anastasia beverly hills armesi highlighter like this has been out years but i just feel it just never gets old this highlighter and i just love goldy tone highlighters again i do like a lot of highlighter i like to add some to the tip of my nose keep it full just slightly over my brow bone Go in with another Charlotte Tilbury product, one of my favourites. This is the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand in Peach Gasm. So again, this is a liquid um, and I'm just going to apply a small bit to my hand. And I'm just going to add this to my cheeks just to give that extra bit of glow. And whatever's left you can kind of add to the tip of your nose and I like to bring it up here as well. So my lips, I'm going to have this Huda Beauty Lip Collection. Um... I love this. Um, I actually got this as a gift and I'm using it all the time now. So the lip liner is super long matte lip pencil lip contour. Bombshell is the name of this one. Um, I love this. Even though it's matte, it's really, really creamy. So they also have a little lip strobe cream as well. So we'll apply that. I like just to apply that to the center of my lips. going with mascara this is the pillow talk push-up lashes again from charlotte tilbury Um, just a small bit to make sure there's no little white bits coming through oh i think i applied too much mascara okay we're just going to brush my hair to make myself look a bit more presentable to make it look like i actually did make an effort today thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this look and um, please let me know what looks you would like to see um or what looks you'd like to see or what videos you'd like me to create i really appreciate everyone's opinions and i only like i want to create videos that you all want to see so make sure you comment below and make sure you subscribe to my channel just to make sure you don't miss anything and um, so thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed and if anyone has any questions um make sure you comment below or you can follow me on my instagram for more makeup and video tips and um, so have a lovely weekend and i will chat to you next week